On today's video, I had a boat trailer issue that really could have turned out bad. Hey there outdoor YouTubers, it's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. And you know, like I said earlier, I had a boat trailer issue that really could have turned out bad, okay? The other night, uh, me and my wife and our oldest daughter, we went out fishing, you know, had a good time, fished till dark, and we're driving home, and it's a, it's a pretty bumpy road that we drove down to get to this lake. And we're driving home, and you know, I'm kind of looking back at the boat in the rear view mirror, and you know, and it kind of looks like the boat is kind of leaning uh, on one to one side. So you know, I pulled over, grabbed a flashlight, went back to check it out. And what had happened is, you know, I, I've got rollers. I've got two rollers in the back, kind of the, the bunk style rollers, kind of inline rollers in the back of the the trailer. And one of those uh, roller bunks had broke loose. From the upright that it's attached to and actually got over on its side okay and you know thankfully you know really just through the grace of god when that roller assembly kind of uh went over on its side as it broke loose from that bracket one of the axles for one of the individual rollers on that assembly actually uh hit the trailer frame and actually stopped that uh roller bunk assembly from actually going any further so my boat was actually able to stay on the edge of the rollers okay uh, like you can see if it would have kept going and not uh, if that uh, if that axle on that individual roller hadn't hit the trailer frame that whole bunk assembly would have kept going and chances are my whole boat would have uh, come crashing down on that broken upright piece okay that that bracket that upright and I, I'm sure it would have punctured the boat maybe the boat even comes right off the trailer who knows because a lot of bad things would have happened you know if that roller assembly hadn't stopped from from rolling completely on its side or breaking completely loose right so it was a very interesting drive home I was debating a lot of different options you know once once that uh, roller assembly did come in contact with the trailer frame it really did seem pretty secure you know I kind of tightened everything down it did seem pretty secure um, I drove about 10 miles an hour all the way home it took a long time um, a what normally would maybe be like a 20 minute drive turned into one hour really took our time got the boat home safely okay then the next day jack up the boat and got that roller assembly off and kind of uh, assessed the situation um, some of the metal on the assembly itself where the brake was was a little bit compromised I, I wasn't super comfortable uh, maybe just welding it back in place um, I kind of wanted to add some structural strength to it so I added in some angle iron welded some angle iron in some places um, just just your simple uh, drilling holes and bolted some angle iron in some other places and I kind of got everything reattached and I think we've got a real good uh, repair job on that roller assembly so we got that roller assembly back on the trailer dropped the boat back down on it and seems to be holding up really good uh, I think I think we got a good repair job on that I don't really know exactly how that happened uh, very very odd to me I, I don't like I say I don't really quite know exactly what took place for that to happen 
Well, I guess it's just kind of a good reminder, uh, at least to me, uh, and maybe you guys out there, you know, maybe keep an eye on the uh, structural integrity of your boat trailer. Okay, give it a little inspection once in a while. Uh, maybe if I had done that, I might have caught this. Who knows, all right? And also, hey, remember to hunt, fish, laugh, repeat. It's Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching, and God bless.